Fried chicken is probably one of the best inventions out there. I rank it with airplanes and the internet. The Korean version of it, it has spice, it has sugar, it has everything nice. Unfortunately, it's probably not the best thing for you. So let's go see how they're made and then come back here to the kitchen and figure out if we can make a healthier version. We all have those meals that we can't resist. We know that they're bad for our diet, but we can't help but indulge. Sometimes we wish that we could have the same treat without the regret. I'm Erwan Yusuf, I'm in love with Asian cuisine, and I used to overindulge quite a bit. I've drastically changed my life and health by taking charge of my diet, and I'm gonna see if I can lighten up these traditional favorites to give you the flavor without the guilt. This is Lightened Up. We're in our local Koreatown right now, about to try, I'm sure, some really good Korean fried chicken. I mean, I can already smell it, and I'm just so excited about this one because it's one of my favorite dishes to eat. This is our young yum sauce. This has gochujang, soy sauce, sesame oil, and some other ingredients we put in. Butter gives it that velvety feel after. It makes it more rich, a little bit better. This is what dreams are made of. Look at that, already just touching it with my chopsticks. It's nice and fluffy, you can feel it, and it's super sticky. You need to get a shot of that because that looks delicious. Mmm. That's really good, Justin. Super tender. I think that double fry is key to kind of just give you that fluffy exterior that just clings on slightly to the sauce that's on there. And that butter just took this dish to a whole new level for sure. When you look at a plate, it seems very simple, but then you understand the process that goes behind it to kind of create that perfect bite. I think we have a lot of work cut out for us, so after I probably finish this whole plate, let's go back to the kitchen and figure out if we can lighten this up. Why can't we just eat this all the time? When it comes to healthy eating, obviously this breaks a lot of rules. Just let's look at the cooking process that goes behind it. A lot of the times you can take very healthy ingredients and make them unhealthy, depending on the way that you are actually cooking them. In this particular case, we're not only frying it once, I mean deep frying it once, we're actually deep frying it twice. So I know deep frying for any sort of ingredient isn't great, but double deep frying probably makes it worse. If you're looking at one piece of Korean fried chicken wing, you're looking at about 260 calories and six grams of sugar per wing. So literally, one wing is one teaspoon of sugar, which is quite a bit. Not a lot of people eat this as a meal. This is really considered more of a snack. When I was quite big, these are the types of things that I would just naturally gravitate towards because they're so simple and so easy to eat. And the problem is you never eat more than one. And honestly, you have this with a beer, it's like a match made in heaven. So very simple recipe. All we're gonna do is coat the chicken. So I've got some potato starch, so we're using this instead of using some cornstarch, some salt, coriander powder, cracked black pepper. All I wanna do is basically coat the chicken in this. So that's basically ready. We're gonna make the sauce that we're gonna use later. Really simple, bowl out. I got some sesame oil with some honey, soy sauce, rice vinegar, gochujang. The problem with gochujang is that it does actually carry quite a bit of sugar, so I'm using a little bit of it, and I'm gonna be extending it with some tomato paste. Finally, some warm water to bring it all together. So this is one of my favorite tools in the kitchen. When I started losing weight, I just cut out all deep fried food. I still stir fried, and I still seared things, because I think those things are inherently healthy, especially if you just kind of watch the amount of oil that you put into the dish. The air fryer kind of acts like a convection oven where it kind of just circulates hot air, but it's such a smaller space that it just becomes more intense. So if you cook something like chicken wings in here, you would actually achieve that texture you're looking for that you would usually get from a deep fried dish. And even better is that there's a grill there, so basically all the fat of the chicken is just completely removed, but the flavor is there. So I'm just gonna place this in here. We're gonna make sure not to overcrowd it. 
So we're going to run it at 180 degrees centigrade, which I think is around 360 Fahrenheit or something around there. 12 minutes, then we're going to turn them around and then we're going to clock them back in for another six minutes at around 200 centigrade or 400 Fahrenheit. I'm going to boost up the temperature and in that goes for another eight, six to eight minutes. Looks like it's done. Open that up. So I don't know if you can hear this, but you can literally hear how kind of crispy and dry that is, and that's exactly what we're looking for. So right away, what we're gonna do is toss this in the sauce. So I've seen people kind of do it another way where they put the sauce with the chicken and then they put it in the air fryer. Unfortunately, in the air fryer, that's not gonna work because there are a little bit of sugars in there with the gochujang that has a little bit of sugar and then the honey. So that would caramelize way too quickly and probably burn in the air fryer. So this way, you kind of just only have to air fry it once and then you dip it in the sauce. One thing to bear in mind with sauces is that they're the types of foods or condiments rather that can hide a lot of calories. It's really important when you're using sauces as much as possible, just try to make them at home. Scallions go on top and then sesame seeds. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a dish that's similar to the original, just has much lower fat. It comes down to around 160 calories per wing versus 260 calories of the original wing. And it's just as delicious and we're gonna taste it now. I should wait, but I never wait, so I'm just gonna take a really hot piping bite. That is amazing, look at that. Perfectly wet. Perfectly cooked. Super moist inside, but crunchy on the outside. I really, really do hope you guys try this recipe at home, because it is delicious and completely worth your time. 100% a success. Look at my mouth. I look like an idiot. Cool. I can do like spicy sauce lipsticks. <laughs>